Hey everyone and welcome to Weight Loss Wednesday. I'm Chef AJ, the author of Unprocessed, The Secrets to Ultimate Weight Loss and Own Your Health. And this is where I show you recipes for healthy, permanent and sustainable weight loss. So it's been 10 years since my first book Unprocessed came out and a publisher wants us to write a 10th anniversary edition. So that's what we're doing right now. I am so excited for this to come out because it's going to have beautiful colored photographs by the enormously talented Hannah Kaminsky and we're doing variations of the recipes for people that want lower fat options and options that have lower sodium. Now I'm known as being SOS free, no sugar, oil, salt, a la Dr. Alan Goldhammer, but the book came out a month before I met him and I didn't realize that by having small amounts of miso and tamari, even low sodium versions of those or coconut aminos, the book wasn't truly SOS free. So we're redoing all those recipes with options that don't need to include them and also lowering the fat. One of the most popular recipes from page 122 of Unprocessed was my Hail to the Kale salad. In fact, it was actually served and might still be in restaurants in Los Angeles. I've been out of LA for three years, so I don't know, but a wonderful restaurant in Pasadena named Grassroots was serving it on the menu. It was also served at the salad bar of the Whole Foods on Arroyo in Pasadena at one point. Like I say, I've been gone for years, I don't know. But I know that when I taught classes, it was a very, very popular recipe. It it was a great way to get people that weren't used to eating large volumes of greens in general or kale in particular to eat it because the dressing was just amazing. But it was made from a cup of almond butter which has like 1600 calories and over 140 grams of fat. So not so good if you're trying to lose weight. So I have a way you can do it now and lower the fat from 140 grams to 4 grams. Does that sound good to you? And here's how you do it using chestnuts. I'm using the organic roasted chestnuts from Geffen. You can buy these in many stores. We have these at Sprouts, but you can also get them Amazon and online. And many people, even if they're not trying to reduce the fat, a lot of people are allergic to tree nuts and peanuts, which is a variation of hail to the kale. I don't really know very many people that are allergic to chestnuts and they're absolutely delicious. And the whole cup has four grams of fat. So I am going to be putting the chestnuts in the blender. And to that, I'm going to add my water. And there's some dates in this recipe for sweetness. I have them already soaking. That way it gets nice and soft because I realize not everybody has a high powered blender. I've got my lime juice. If you're using fresh, I always recommend using zest. I've got my ginger and my garlic. One of the things I do with recipes that I make a lot I will have like a little jar like this and I'll have my garlic and ginger pre-measured in the freezer. I can just pull it out because it's sort of a pain to have to peel garlic and cut it for every single recipe. So I like to do that. And then my crushed red bell pepper flakes, not red bell pepper, crushed red pepper flakes. And if you're doing this for the kiddos, maybe cut it in half or even omit it entirely. It's not very spicy, but this does add just a nice little kick. Now the only other ingredient in here in the original recipe was two tablespoons of tamari, which is wheat-free soy sauce. And I'm actually allergic to soy, so I was actually, even when I was doing it, I was using coconut aminos, which is a better choice with sodium. But some people can't have any at all. Maybe they're dialysis patients or they follow True North. So what can you do? I don't know any chef so far that has been able to make a completely sodium-free soy sauce with that umami flavor. So my favorite stand-in for any recipe that calls for soy sauce or tamari or coconut aminos is California balsamic teriyaki balsamic. This is the closest you're gonna get. This is absolutely delicious. Comes in three sizes, actually, I think maybe four. So this is the largest and then there's one after this and then this one. This one's great, by the way, because it's three ounces. It can get through, through TSA, no problem, when people start traveling again. And it's just absolutely delicious, just over vegetables and rice. So I'm going to put two tablespoons of this luscious elixir in instead of the soy sauce. And it's the same color and it tastes amazing. And so now I'm gonna blend it all up. Boy, that smells amazing. There's nothing like fresh ginger and fresh garlic. 
So I have here in my bowl my shredded kale. And I remember when I used to teach this class for like 10 years, it was called Healthy Made Delicious. And we were making this for 30 people. Boy, it took forever to shred the kale, either by hand or in the food processor. So thank you, Trader Joe's, for selling pre-washed, shredded, organic kale. You saved me so much time for doing that. And now we are going to massage the dressing in. If you're, if you're the only one eating this, you can use your hands. But if you're not, you might want to use latex-free gloves. You can see how thick and yummy this is. This, by the way, is a great coating for kale chips. You could actually dehydrate this if you want. So I'm usually going to start with about half. You know, you can always add, but you can't take away. And... I'm going to put my gloves on. And massaging kale also helps tenderize it. So a lot of people think, oh, you have to massage it in, you know, fat like avocado or, you know, olive oil to break it down. You don't. You can massage kale and hummus to break it down. You just need that action of massaging it. And it's interesting because as you massage it, it actually becomes less voluminous. So it actually decreases. So I'm going to need all of this and because this is not going to be enough dressing but I put a little bit in first because you can always add you can't take away so I'm going to take the rest of this dressing and what's really neat about this is that you probably know that if you've ever eat regular salad and you put dressing on it goes bad pretty quickly in the refrigerator it gets really soggy but the nice thing about kale is it's so sturdy that even a day or two it will hold up so you just want to massage it Ugh, you want to get all the dressing in it smells so good and like I said even people that don't normally eat kale will enjoy this and hey if you are one of those lucky people that can eat whole food fats and be you know happy with your weight and your health knock yourself out with the original version you can use a cup of peanut butter a cup of almond butter even a cup of tahini but maybe you're just trying to lower the sodium so try the teriyaki California balsamic option and you can see this bowl has already decreased by half just from massaging so people say oh I can't eat a pound of vegetables well yeah if you cook it it's even less voluminous so I'm just going to transfer to a pretty prettier bowl actually I probably could have taken the smaller one in this series and then I'm going to eat this a little bit later for my dinner and I bet you, if you try it, you'll like it. And if you're somebody that has had the original version, let me know what you think of the new low-fat, low-sodium variation of Hail to the Kale. Thanks so much for watching another episode of Weight Loss Wednesday. I'm Chef AJ, and I truly believe you can have both the health and the body that you so richly deserve. To your health.